This content is sponsored by BCW Supplies. Visit them at bcwsupplies.com. So I am headed to what I think is a somewhat unusual event, at least in my experience. It is a 25 cent comic book sale that is actually sponsored by the San Francisco Library. I actually found out about this sale uh, a couple of weeks ago from a subscriber of the channel who uh, sent me a message, gave me a heads up. She doesn't even live in San Francisco, but she was like, hey, you might wanna check this out. I've had it on my calendar for a couple of weeks and uh, decided to go. So we're gonna head over here. No clue, no clue what we are going to see, uh, but it should be fun. I think the, um, the material says that there is gonna be about 35,000 comics available at 25 cents uh, based upon the Facebook invite. Uh, there's going to be about 50 people that say that said that they're going to attend so we'll see how many actually show up So I am leaving the 25 cent comic book sale. I'm actually glad that I decided to come. This was actually a pretty fun activity. I decided to walk out almost when I walked in just because it was organized chaos. I mean, literally chaos. But I'm glad that I stuck with it. I ended up picking up some pretty cool books. Uh, a lot of filler books, which is really good um, because again, they were 25 cents. So I'll show you guys those at the end of this video. So I am back home. As you guys know, I live in the San Francisco Bay Area, but I actually don't venture to the city all that often. We've been here about six years, and I've probably gone to the city maybe a total of 10 or 11 times total. But I ventured into the city today to take advantage of the 25 cent comic book sale at one of the libraries, and I'm actually really glad that I went. Uh, when I first showed up, it was a bit overwhelming. The place wasn't supposed to open until nine. I showed up about nine, 10, and it was already jam packed. So I have a feeling that they probably opened the doors early, but it's all good. So I get there and it's, it's a ton of comics, it's a ton of people, a little bit of chaos, and that isn't necessarily my thing, but I'm actually glad that I stuck with it because I picked up some cool books and then I also had some really great conversations with a few people who recognize me from the channel. So shout out to you guys if you are actually watching right now. A couple of you mentioned that you tend to watch on your TVs, so I encourage you to go over to the computer and subscribe to the channel so that you guys can stay abreast of all the content that I release. But again, it was definitely uh, my pleasure to meet you guys earlier today. So let me show you some of the books that I picked up. By and large, I didn't get really anything special. I found a short box full of Amazing Spider-Man. I took about 85% of that. And then I found some random books kind of spread throughout. I spent about an hour on site um, and I made it through a healthy number of the books. I probably would have needed to stay at least another hour to hour and a half to make it through every single bin in the room. Uh, and I just honestly didn't have that kind of time. So let me show you the books that I picked up. Uh, I did grab a, another Peter Parker book, uh, Peter Parker Spectacular Spider-Man number 101. I think I have like two of these already, but I really like this cover and I couldn't help myself Honestly, every time I see this book, I try to pick it up because I just really dig the black costume, as you guys know. So definitely a cool book to have. The next one, I have a couple of copies of this one as well, but when you see it, you have to get it. It is X-Men 24. A little uh, kiss there between Gambit and Rogue. Definitely a cool book to have. Um, and so this is actually a really nice copy. Again, to be a, a 25 cent sale, most of the books that I picked up were actually in decent shape, which was, you know, very, very pleasing. It was very pleasing to actually have that happen and not have a bunch of trash books. Next, Amazing Spider-Man Annual Number 18. 
for whatever reason, I never really see annuals all that often. So when I when I saw this one, I grabbed it. Uh, same with this next one. This is Amazing Spider-Man annual number 27. And this one actually comes with a little trading card. It may actually be two trading cards from 1993. So really cool uh, thing to have. I actually have a box of annuals uh, here in the room. And for whatever reason, again, I just never really see them in a while. And so I was pleased to have found two of them uh, at the sale today. Next, Amazing Spider-Man 384. And again, there's really nothing special about these books other than the fact that they are filler books that I actually needed for my run. Uh, 385, again, Amazing Spider-Man right here. And I have a lot of the books around here, but there were a couple that I'm actually missing. Another, This is actually a Mark Bagley cover, and you guys know I'm a fan of Mark Bagley, as is this next one, 387. This one actually came from a comic shop in San Francisco, Cards and Comics Central. I actually did not see that a moment ago. Uh, next, uh, Amazing Spider-Man 388. Cool book there. This one also, this one actually came from Comic and Card Vault in San Jose. Next up, Amazing Spider-Man 389. Each and every one of these books, again, is in really great shape. They were essentially all in the same bin right in a row. Here is 390, which made it really easy for me to snag these books. I'm actually really surprised that they were still there. Amazing Spider-Man 391. And, uh, you know, I, I had hopes that I was going to be able to find a lot more, you know, Amazing Spider-Man books or older books, if you will. But I, I didn't really see much that was of interest to me. Here is uh, 393. But I will tell you, there were people there that were buying boxes of comics. I mean, they 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 have boxes that they were giving away when you walked in into um, the uh, receiving area of the library. Uh, and people took a couple of boxes. They Some people brought their own boxes and bags and they literally filled them up. Here is uh, $3.95. When I went to go check out the guy that was actually in front of me, uh, he had purchased 300 and some odd books. But again, at 25 cents a pop, it's not too bad. Here is uh, $3.98. Really nice copy there. Uh, despite the the little bend here, it doesn't break color, so I think it's actually actually okay. Uh, here is three and ninety nine. But uh, again, there was there were a lot of guys that were were picking up massive amounts of books. There was actually one retailer that I ran into there that I had seen at other shops. We had spoken to on Instagram, but never really had a chance to actually chat face to face. And so we had an opportunity to do that for a few moments. They actually picked up a lot of books, but again, they're kind of like a retailer that does cons and stuff like that. And so it made sense for them to buy uh, a healthy amount of books versus me essentially getting four dollars worth of comics <laughs> that's essentially all that i walked away with and the last book that i picked up is amazing spider-man 507 uh another really cool book that i need for uh for the collection this is actually john ramita i didn't realize that until just this moment so Couple of cool books. Again, I'm actually gonna uh, rebag and board these things and then drop them into uh, my short boxes here in the room. I wanna thank you guys for taking the time to watch this video. I hope that you found it entertaining. And as always, I definitely encourage you to subscribe to the channel so that you can stay abreast of all the content that I release on a weekly basis. And certainly, if you need me, don't hesitate to reach out at Reggie Collects on Instagram. Take care.